and welcome to Fireside Chats with Mama Han. Today I'm here with Haley Polk from the class of 2021. Welcome Haley. Thank Glad you. to see you back on campus Thank today. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about your journey since you've left Gerstow. Yes. You are at the University of Michigan. Yes. So tell us a little bit about why you chose Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, so I um, chose Michigan the fall of my junior year here. Um, I went through that recruiting process, um, just trying to find a school that was best for me, that fit um, my academic wants, my um, athletic wants, and just like felt like home. And I visited a bunch of different schools, but when I got on campus at Michigan, it just felt like home. I think like the atmosphere and the school spirit and the pride that Michigan has for representing for representing the school um, is something that was super um, attractive to me, and I wanted to be a part of it. So yeah. Okay. So you are at Michigan, and you yeah. are playing D one lacrosse. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what your day looks like, what the commitment is as a D one player. Yeah. Yeah. Like I always say, it's a lot, and it's something um, that just takes a lot of commitment and you have to live and breathe lacrosse and want and want to do that every day of your life but it's been really rewarding for me I've met 35 of my best friends and I love going to practice every day and spending time with them and I don't mind juggling going to class and having lacrosse and then having a social life on top of that so um, yeah it's a lot but um, it's really it's been really awesome for me I'm in my junior year and um, I've really appreciated at all the experiences that I've had. And so I think in terms of like my day-to-day -day life, I, I wake up early. I mean, early is all relative. It changes depending <laughs> on the season, but you know, sometimes I'll have like lift at like 8 a.m., 8 to 9, and then I'll have class 9 to like 2, and then practice 2 to 5. Um, so we're doing like 20 hour weeks um, where we're playing 20 hours of lacrosse a week, um, where we do like conditioning, agility, um, different stuff like skills. Um, and then on top of that, like doing your homework afterward and like eating together as a team and doing like different activities. Um, so it's a lot to do. And, and also like I've been joining clubs and like trying to get involved for career stuff and stuff after college. Um, and it's a lot to do, but I really love it. And I have no complaints. So yeah. that's good. We like yeah. no complaints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you talked a little bit about your career. So mm -hmm. what is your major and what are your future plans? Yeah. So I'm um, majoring in communications and media. I want to do broadcasting. My biggest goal as of now is to do sports reporting. Um, I d actually got my senior internship at, from Gerstel. I did it at um, Fox 45 in Baltimore. Thank you, Dr. Smith, <laughs> um, and that connection. But um, that was a really rewarding internship for me. I wanted to do something in the production field, but that internship gave me an overview of like the production, um, like the different aspects of the production world, like whether it be like anchors on air, or like in the control room or doing the business side, that kind of drove this passion for me to want to do um, broadcasting for a career. And so I've just been trying to network and meet with people and alumni through Michigan that are in that industry. And so, um, yeah, that's like my biggest goal now is just to do like reporting after college and hopefully be on on air, so <laughs> we'll see. So one day, maybe on the NFL field doing reporting Hopefully. after the game. Or... <laughs> okay, but we'll yeah. watch for you. We'll say, we yeah. know that's Haley Pop yeah. from Gersell Academy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put our little plug in there when, yeah. you, when you do that. I will. Leadership on yourself. our courage. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so I'm asking you a couple questions just about you. Yeah. Um, just some kind of your favorite things. And okay. Stuff. So yeah. favorite type of music? Okay, music. I always say this is a hard one for me because I love all music, but my favorite artists right now are are the weekend. Um, I actually just saw him live with another alum, Zoe, last summer, which was so much fun. And then I love country, so um, I've been really enjoying Kelsey Ballerini recently. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Favorite coffee drinks? Coffee. Now you're a coffee drinker. Yes, I do like coffee. You know, I like sweet coffee. So I'm going to say my favorite holiday drink because it's around um, the holidays right now. Um, I like the caramel brulee latte from Starbucks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pizza, cheeseburgers. Pizza. Um, barbecue chicken pizza. It's very specific pizza, but yeah. Pizza, okay. I'd say. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I'll hit you with some Gerstel. Your favorite principal from Gerstel Academy. Principal. Um, right now is work to reach your full potential. Um, principal seven. That one has just been hitting recently in um, just like life at school. I think I have to always come back to that aspect of my life when things are tough and it's busy, just like staying focused and doing your best. And 
when you have a lot of lacrosse going on, like doing your best at lacrosse and then trying to do your best at school and like focus when you're in the classroom, focus on that and let the other things, let the other things go. And um, also like with this, trying to find a job and internships, like that's a big thing for me is like doing the best I can with that and like trying to network as best I can. But yeah, working to reach my full potential, I'd say. Okay, <laughs> great. Thanks. What's your favorite memory from high school? Oh gosh. Oh, you hit me with that one. That was out of the blue. Like, there's so many. Um, I think, wow, there's a lot. But I, I think in terms of sports, the biggest one for me I always come back to is the St. Mary's basketball game. Um, that was, I loved our basketball team here. Like we had such good camaraderie and morale my, my senior year. But we played St. Mary's in like the first round of the playoffs, I think. And there was so many people in the stands. And that was like the first time we'd played in front of that many people. And I remember Marley hit the three to take us into overtime. And that, the, like, the, the room just erupted. And that was just like something I still remember. And like when I go and we play in front of big crowds at school, I'm just like, this is so cool because I'm like, I felt that for like, a, like I had a glimpse of that in high school for like one game. But yeah, that was. That was a big one. And then also graduation and all of the things that came with senior year. Senior year was definitely a highlight for me. Like we got to do, we had more leadership on campus and got to do a lot um, more fun things. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good memory. I yeah. remember that yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a good memory for a lot of people, I yeah. think. Yeah. How about a favorite Michigan memory? Whew. So I, Michigan, Ohio State is obviously like the biggest rivalry in, in college football, but and we know you have that little rivalry going with Mr. Plus. Yes, well. yes. You know, it's so funny. So this year was the first year that I was able to go to the Michigan-Ohio State football game. Um, it was like literally a few weeks ago, and I brought Zoe. Um, she obviously goes to Rollins College in Florida, but I brought her up, and I was like, we have to go to this game together. So we got tickets, and it was unreal. Like, we stormed the field after the game. We won, stormed the field. Um, and just the energy was crazy. Like I have the most awesome videos and, and photos. And literally right after that, I came home and I was like, I'm going straight to Mr. Blasco <laughs> and we're chatting about this. So yeah, we have that great rivalry, but I think that's been my highlight so far. That sounds a yeah. great one. That's, yeah. a, that's a great one. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mr. Blasco, yeah. but uh, we'll yeah. take that. Yeah. So any last words of wisdom for any of our students that are here now yeah. or just kind of as they're looking at colleges or planning their futures? Yeah, I think just like stay stay true to like what you know here and focus on academics and athletics and doing your best in those areas. And um, yeah, just like focus on those things, building connections with the people around you. Like I always say, like I love coming back here because I'm close to the people that I looked up to. And um, I think just, yeah, like building relationships and um, going through that college process and enjoying it because that's something that like I think back on and it was stressful like trying to figure out where you wanted to go to school but like I was set up for success here and um, I had so much help so I think like enjoying that process and just like yeah looking forward to the future. Okay so, great yeah. well Haley thank, thank you. you. We appreciate you coming <laughs> you. today. Of course. And good luck with your season thank in the you. spring. Thank you. Go blow. <laughs> <laughs>